I was 17 years old in the city of New Delhi. I had no reason to be doing it other than the fact that despair for me was no longer a moment, it was a way of life. I seemed to have everything going my way. My father was a highly placed government officer, and yet here I was, a student at the University of Delhi, apparently having everything I needed in this Indian home, and yet I had nothing in my heart that caused me to want to live. And one miserable morning while the whole family was out, behind a locked bathroom door while everybody was gone, taking a set of chemicals from some plastic pouches that I'd brought in from the university. I emptied little by little into a tall glass, ran it under a running tap of water, and began to whip it up immediately only to see it froth. And as that glass effervesced spilling over, I gobbled it in a frantic hurry, only to find out that it was going to make me throw out every ounce of moisture within my system. And as I clung to that bathroom sink, struggling to keep my legs straight, realized I didn't have strength to stand up anymore and that which had become an obsession for the last day where I wanted to end it all now became a grisly nightmare as I was staggering desperately trying to gain some strength to to keep myself alive and had it not been for one of the servants in the house I would have literally wasted away and, and died on that floor of my home but the man came rushed me to the hospital and there in that hospital room with that direct encounter with the Word of God, it was at that moment I found out that it was not in religions, it was not in Rabbi Zacharias's father, it was not in Rabbi Zacharias's culture, it wasn't in the learnings of all of the philosophers' cumulative impact upon a nation which today brags of 330 million gods, adding more and more all the time, but it was in the person and the work of Jesus Christ that I could find my salvation. Long my imprisoned spirit lay, past bound in sin and nature's night. Thine eye diffused the quickening ray. I woke the dungeon flamed with light. My chains fell off, my heart was free. I rose, went forth and followed thee. You see the sin. You see God's justice. You see the need for Jesus Christ. From children to high school students to university students to sophisticated thinkers, the fundamental question is, how can I really learn to be valuable in this world? Because romances seem to come and go, relationships seem to be broken either by sin or death, and the acceptance of God is what I think is that sturdy, unchangeable relationship where it is not so much where we receive Him, but we trust Him and He receives us. Amen. Follow me? We trust Him and He receives us.